Hello, That Flipping Band Director is back again. This time I'm going to show you how to create a lesson plan calendar and make it very useful for you. So we'll create a new calendar because this one I don't want to share with my students and their families every single day. There may be things I do want to share with them, but I don't want to make it a, a really public thing right now. So create a new calendar. We'll call it Sample Lesson Plans. I do not want to make this a public calendar. I'm only going to share it with the people who I need to share it with. So my teammate, I'll put her email address here. I'll let her make changes and manage sharing. Um, if I have a student teacher, I'll add them and just say see all event details. And then sometimes if I'm going to be observed, I'll add that email address of the person who's going to observe me and let them see the event details as well. I hardly ever use see only free or busy uh, just because of the nature of, of the work that I do. Then create calendar. And it's already defaulted to a color, so that's nice. Um, if I'm going to add classes, let's start on Monday the 17th here. Not an all-day event. Let's call this beginner percussion. I do want it to repeat every month, every weekday, every weekday. Starts on the 17th. Ends on, we'll end it in December because that's the end of the semester. You could do it for the whole year if you want to, but um, that's totally up to you. Okay, we'll save it. And it's in the home calendar accidentally. Whoops. So let's go ahead and change that to sample lesson plans. Undo that home calendar. Okay, there we go. Uh, beginner percussion. So now that I have it created, I have it repeating, then I'm going to edit it and add my lesson plans in. You can type a whole lot in this little box, or you can add an attachment. So let's say on this day, we're going to do some instrument maintenance. You can upload from Google Drive, which I tend to do. I, Google, I use Google Drive all the time. You can upload directly from your computer or from like a jump drive, flash drive that you have in, inserted into your computer or I'm just gonna go with previously selected. So there's my instrument maintenance presentation. It's already attached. I don't have to look through my drive or my anything, my computer to find it on Monday morning. It's already right there. Maybe I'll write a short description of what we're gonna go over. And then maybe I'm gonna share it with a private lesson teacher that's gonna be there to aid in the presentation and just be a helper. Maybe I'll share it with a student teacher who is gonna be doing a lot of this lesson. This is how I can monitor student teachers lesson plans as well and we can really collaborate this way. This is also how I can make sure that everyone in our program is really kind of on the same page because we're literally using the same calendar and literally using the same lesson plans. So it's wonderful and I hope you can try it. Once I edit one event, I don't want every event to have instrument maintenance presentation on it so I'll just say only this event. And again if there's a holiday I'm gonna delete it because and only this instance because I don't need it to show up on that day. So you can make your calendar look nice and concise that way. I hope this helps you and I hope you do wonderful lesson planning on Google Calendar this year.